Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. Coming to the end of the week where you've got videos of, that you haven't seen for a while, builds that you're never going to see again, like the Night Rider yesterday, and today with new build day, builds you haven't seen before. I'm going to be building, the reason this is the only nautical shirt I've got, we're going to be building the Hachette Partworks U96 U-Boat. I really do need to invest in more nautical shirts, I think. <laughs> but yes, today I am building the U96 U-Boat. Now, this is the first time, I believe, Hachette Partworks have released this not only in the UK, but outside the UK and the US as well. And what I've done is I've put a QR code there for the UK and the US. If you're over in the USA and you want to get this for yourself, you can. It's also in the video description that you can click on. And that link just tells the folks over at Hachette Partworks that you've come from the World of Wayne YouTube channel. Now, I'm going to show you the brochure show you what we're building. So this is the brochure here, it's 148 scale, and it's just showing you how we're gonna be building this up. We do get to test this in the first packs, as you can see there, and telling you what's coming in kits five to eight. Now this does open up, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to scroll along because I haven't got a, a fish end lines camera, but uh, it's 140 centimeters long, just giving you an idea of the uh, size of this. Uh, you've got working propellers, anchors, you've got, uh, uh, if an enemy's in sight, open the muzzle doors to the bow. Uh, oh, there's just so much going on. You can see the engine compartments here. Um, it's 13 centimeters wide, 30.5 centimeters in height. Uh, it's made of metal and plastics, approximately six kilograms. You're gonna have to get yourself a good shelf for that. Uh, let me just look at the back of this. Uh, it has come with a display case as well. Um, this is part of your collection. You'll have the option to order a magnet. So part of your collection, you'll be at, you've got this, this is optional. The cases, the case is 153 centimeters by 38 centimeters by 47 centimeters. So when you subscribe, it's gonna give you the option for that as well. But you do get some free gifts with this. We've got some little figures to go on this here. Looks like we've got a book and we have got a plaque that we can actually display with our model. Now, all the instructions for this are online. And again, I have put a link in the video description to the online instructions if you'd like to follow along with me. But there is loads to do in these four stages. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So here is kit one, and we're gonna start the port side of the bow. As you can see, you do have a screwdriver in here if you don't have one. I will be using my own screwdriver, but I'm gonna get this open. Check out all of that. Looking good, isn't it? Okay, the first section I need looks like this. This is completely metal. And you can see all the paint and details are already on there for you. And the first thing I need is this hole connector. Having it this way around, it's going probably best on the top camera, just on this section, just there. It's gonna be held in with AM screws. Now this bag isn't labeled, but they are silver screws. They're the only screws that come in this stage. And if you've watched my YouTube channels enough, because I'm going into metal, I am gonna be coating just the tips of the screws in oil. It's gonna help drive them in, and it will make your life a lot easier as this build goes along. So let's get these in first. I've got another hole connector piece here, which is just gonna go onto these two points there. And you've guessed it, gonna be holding this in with AM screws. So that's one in there. You do want to make sure these are in tight because they're going to be supporting the next plates that are going next to it. Then I've got this large hole connector here, which is just going to go onto this back section like that. And you've guessed it, those AM screws again. There is lots of connectors that are actually putting on this because we're not finished yet. We've got this little part at the top here I should really have my part work upgrade mat down so I don't scratch this, so I am being extra careful. That one looks like this here, and it's just gonna go over there, just like that. And again, AM screws. And when they're all in, they should look like that. I can put this whole thing to one side, and I wanna take this upper port torpedo door. Now it is labeled with UL, the other one's labeled UR, so I know that this one is the left one here. And I want these little hinge joints here. I'm gonna be putting one of these hinges 
into the bracket kind of like there. Once that's on there, we're gonna be using one of these little UL hinges to keep that into place. So I'm using sprue cutters just to cut that off. Once again, we're gonna have a AM screw at the ready just to get this in. Now, this door, once again, is metal. So that's why I've gone into oil again. But that's in, and then that should be able to go up and down like that. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side here. So we'll be cutting off another one of these parts here. I have to say, I don't know if it is left or right. It's just that one's labelled UR, <laughs> one's labelled UL. So I'm just, uh, you know me, I'm assuming it's probably completely wrong. But they're telling me to do the left one first, which I did. And now I'll do this one afterwards. I can't see this being the right one because we're only working on the left side at the moment. So you are just me. Might must be a way to dis, dis differentiate between them. There we go. That's that one done as well. And with these two parts completed, we still too have two of these little hinge brackets on a sprue. We need to keep them safe. And what we created there, that's the end of stage one. So in stage two, we're going to be doing the torpedo door motor. So we are working a lot on the torpedoes at the moment. Let me get this open. We're going to start this stage with a torpedo uh, door frame here. And I have got this rod support. This is plastic. This is metal. This is going to be going on the end here. So basically, it's going to go on just like that. Held in with two AP screws this time. Now the AP screws are in this bag here. You can tell the difference between metal and plastic screws because the threads in plastic screws are a lot more spaced out. But we want these black ones here. The next metal piece I need is the lower lever support, which looks like this. I'm going to be putting this down like this. This is going to be way better on the uh, close-up camera. And I'm going to be putting this section here, which is the uh, lever support, into that point just there. Now, if I start screwing that, you can see that's going to go all the way through there. But I just want to keep it in so that it's not going to fall out. I then got two little posts, which are in this bag here. Let's get these out. Lots of details and we're only on stage two. That's, uh, that's crazy. But as you can see, that looks like that now. Now I'm going to be putting this whole section into this middle section here, making sure that those pins go down either side into the piece at the bottom, just like that. And then I'm going to be putting this section just over the top to put all of these together, making sure again the pins go through both sides. So that they now look like that when they're together. Now once again, we're going to be using the silver AM screws. These are metal screws here, just to put that together. Now these screws connect from the underside. So I'm going to put that to one side and I've got two more torpedo doors to work on. DL and DR in exactly the same way that we did the ones in the last stage. I've got these hinges to put in which are just going to be resting kind of like that there. Put the one on here as well. And then I'm going to be using the last of the hinges that we had in the last stage to put them into place. Again, I want the silver AM screws for this. So, I'm going to be taking this section that we created here and I'm going to be putting these doors on. Now, these are the doors that we did in the first stage and they're going to go into the holes just here and the one that's labeled UR is going to go on the other side just here. Now to hold them in it's going to load up an AP screw. I've got this bracket here and if you see the two holes at the top there it's going to be a bit tricky this is. I'm going to try and piece this together. I find it easier to actually put this in first but really loose and then that way <laughs> I made this so hard for myself until I figured this out. I can put these in no problems at all. <laughs> and then put the rest of the screws in and tighten that completely up. I'll just close that up now. There you go. That's perfect. Okay. Now these hinges here 
are going to be connected to this silver section just on the inside there. As you can see like that, going to be held in with a BM screw. Now the BM screws are the silver screws that come in this pack here with the black screws. Get a bit of oil on this and I'll get this one in first. And there you go, that's one side in. Do the same on the other side. So that's those in there. All I'm going to do then is turn this over. We're going to be doing the lower doors now, which means I need this adapter and do it exactly the same way. So this time I think what I'm going to do is line this up here. You see there is locating lugs on here. I'm going to be putting a screw just into the front really loosely there. One turn, that's all I've done. Put the other screws in really loosely. One turn. And this side, once again, one turn. So now that's in, but able to move. And then once again, I'm going to put these in. The UL one this side goes into these holes here, like that. Oops. Perfect. And just do the other one, which says UR, so that this section here is facing upright into here, like that. And then I can just tighten everything up ingenious bit of engineering this is and in a similar way to what we did last time it's going to be putting these metal hinges this side and again these bm screws to hold them in so if i could just take a minute to tell you about the engineer and what will happen is as the motor operates this section here it drives this section to pull up and down which is going to open and close these up brilliant absolutely brilliant so that's the last one just going in here now and that's that section completed. So, put that to one side. Grab the cable here. Now this cable is labelled, I believe. It's not labelled. I thought it was labelled. It should be labelled. For that reason, we have got a label. And the label is M1. Now this label looks exactly like what we had for the uh, Bismarck, which is interesting. Uh, we've got... Two different size connectors, a smaller one and a larger one. We want to put this around the side with the larger connector. These are really important because you're going to need them later on to actually know where you're actually putting them. So I'm then going to be taking the motor here and basically the smaller end of this motor is going to have the cable just here. Like that. Now I'm going to want to put this case around the motor so this is going to go on here like that and it's held in from this side with bp screws the bp screws are these larger black ones which were in the case with the silver ones so i'll just put it in really loosely at the moment and then i'll tighten this up you do want to make sure that that doesn't wobble on there that needs to be on there tight now on this frame in stage one, you can see we've got one part left, which is a bush, which I just need to cut off. Now this bush has a D-shaped hole on one side and across the other side. I want to take the D-shaped hole and put it in this section just like that. Now let me just demonstrate how this is going to work before I attach the motor. What's going to happen is as the motor turns, as you can see, the doors close. If I turn it the other way, they open, as you can see there. But I'm going to keep them closed for now, just like that. And I'm going to, they're not fully closed. Now engage the motor here. So that's going to go into the bush, making sure it's fitting perfectly in there. Line up the tabs like that. And then I'm holding this in with AM screws. That's the smaller silver ones here what a detailed stage this is stage two i've really enjoyed this stage so now that's looking like that let me just put that to one side i've got one more piece to fit and that means bringing over what we created in the last stage and this is part of the torpedo frame it's going to go on the top just like this here once again it's held in with these silver am screws
And now that's assembled, I can actually take this and put this in where it's gonna go, which is just alongside here, making sure it's engaged. I need to be able to screw, probably the best on the top camera, two screws into these holes here. Now again, these are AP screws. These are these black ones here. Get these in. They're the smaller black ones, so one there. And just one this side. Make sure they're tight. And there you go, that's those in, and that's all there is to do in that stage. In kit three, we're gonna do the bow assembly, and we're also gonna be able to test that motor. So, let's get everything out here. Again, I'm gonna be taking this massive hole piece here, and I'm gonna start by putting some of these supports in. So this one's just gonna go on here like that. It's held in with AM screws again. That's the silver screws that come in this pack, looking like that. Another support here, just going down the bottom there. And again, AM screws. And then finally, this big support here, just going on the back there like that. And again, AM screws. One more tiny piece to put in, which looks like that. It's just going to go on this point here. And again, AM screws. And finally, I've got this support piece, which goes in the middle, like we did on the last one. And two more AM screws. Got lots of supports in this. Now, when I open these AP screws up, because I'm about to piece both parts together. So all I'm going to do, just like that one there, is put this in here like this. Make sure that these brackets interlock each other at the top. Hopefully you saw that on the top camera. And I'm going to put some of these AP screws in, just like we did on the other side of that torpedo motor, to hold them in. So on this side here. Don't know if you can see this on the top camera, but there is two screw holes in there. Perfect. And then just keep taking these AP screws and put these into the holes at the top here. And just two for the rear. So now that is fully together there. Okay, we're gonna be able to test the motor now. So I'm gonna be plugging this into the board here and this goes into the bigger plug on this side. And then I just need to put some AA batteries in the battery box. Let me get some batteries. So put the batteries in here. Plug this in to the board just at the end here. Now when I press this button here, the doors should open, as you can see there. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> Show you on the other side as well. And then press the other button, as you see, they close. Again, I'll just show you this side. I love electrics. Absolutely love electrics. Open and close. <laughs> and that's all there is to do in that stage. So in the last stage of this pack, we're gonna be working on the port side of the conning tower and anti-aircraft machine gun, which means we're gonna start using a little bit of glue. So this is metal looking like that. So I've got an air duct cover here, which I'm gonna be putting on to these pegs just here. It's gonna go on like that just as a dry fit. Now I'm gonna use my glue. Again, I'm using my Gorilla Glue here. This is Gorilla Super Glue, is available in my Amazon store. So, just put some over these lugs here. Not being neat, because all of that's gonna be hidden. And that'll hold that one into place. Put that to one side to dry. And I'm gonna be bringing over this base section now, looking like this. Now the first piece that's going in is gonna be going into the center here. Now when I put this in, it's gonna be going just like that, so that the open section is facing this larger circular section here. So again, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue to hold that in. I'm then gonna be joining it with this side here, so when this goes in, it's gonna make a cone looking like that. Again, put in some glue in, just along these edges. 
The advantage of putting glue on with a brush is it makes it just so much neater in there. Now I need to cut one of these rings from a sprue here, so let's do that. Now look, we want the larger ring, which is uh, number one. I'm going to do a dry fit on this. It's going to be fitting over the top of this section here. Just like that. Just into the grooves around the side. So again, a little bit of glue on this. And there you go, that's seated in there, lovely. Take the smaller ring off now. This reminds me so much of the Bismarck build. And in a similar way, again, put some glue on these pegs. And this one's just slightly off center to the one we just put on. Now the mission is to make sure it's straight all the way around. It's looking good. Just double checking that. That's good, and that one's in. I've got this tiny detail here to put in now, which is 4113. I'm gonna be putting some glue just on the ends here. This is basically the periscope base that we're creating now. These go in the hole either side, so they look just like that. Now I've got a hatch door to put on which looks like this again some glue on the pegs here and that's going into the three holes that you can see just here sort of goes off center like that and now i'm going to be taking all the parts off of this sprue here so if you look on the top camera i'll get all of these off and i will clean up any burrs that i've got with a sanding file so first thing I want to do is take these two sections here and I'm just going to be gluing this section onto that section there. Using a lot of glue for the first stage here. And when that's on like that, I'm going to be gluing this section just to the top here. Again, gluing this in. I'm not using a lot of glue at all because it will hold big time the glue that I have used. So that's now looking like that. Then got this upper rim piece here to put in. So again, some glue on there. It's going into the top of this section. Like that. And I'm just gonna be gluing the binoclear, binoculars here onto the peg on top of this section here. So that looks like that. <laughs> Very detailed. <laughs> So this is going to be going into the slot that we've got just there. So it does mean, again, just putting a little bit of glue in that slot. And placing this in. So now that looks like that. Put that to one side to dry. And I'm bringing over these two sections now, which is two sections of the perico periscope shaft. Having trouble getting my words out today. And just glue these together. Hold that for a second. While I'm doing that, I'll put some glue just on these bottom posts here because this is going to be going into the end just here. Like that. Lots of detail just put on there. Again, put that to one side. We've got one more sprue of stuff to cut off now. So I want to cut off this base here. and the lower carriage here. This is gonna be going on this side and it'll be glued in like that. So I'll put this in first. This is the anti-aircraft machine gun I'm creating at the moment. Like that, put that to dry. Let's uh, break off the upper carriage and bipod. Again, a bit of glue on the end of this. And that's just gonna go in here. Now I've got the butt stock. Again, I'm putting some glue just on the peg at the end here. And that's just gonna go on the end just here. That looks excellent, I like that. And then this is actually the back section of this is gonna be going onto the peg of the lower carriage. So again, I'm just gonna put some glue just on top here just to get this in. 
then I should be able to just leave this to dry like that <laughs> excellent so put that to one side I'm just going to be taking out the barrel now which is already painted for us and the magazine and again a bit of glue here just on the end so I can glue these together bringing over what we just created I'm going to be applying some glue just into two points one here and one here and I'm going to be laying this gun on top and to help line it up if you put some glue just into this channel at the back there that channel at the back will be going into the channel just at the back here so this in I'm going to hold it for a little while so that's going in like that got this small wheel to take off and this is just going to go into the hole that we can see there I need to cut this base off here I need to make a basket so while this is all drying just put that to one side I'm going to be using my duck bill pliers to help bend this now when you bend this you want to bend it away from the groove so if I've got the groove lined up here I'm bending it away probably best to actually just do it and show you what it looks like there we go that looks just like that and then this is going to go into the small holes that we've got on here so if I just uh, put this in and give you an idea of how it looks um, whoops and I will glue this into place it's gonna look just like that so let me just put some glue on this that's come out really well I like that in the front holes I've got one more part on this sprue to cut off and that's just this frame here again I'll put some glue just on the bottom of the tabs here put this in the holes here and here so now that looks like that I'm gonna let that dry and then the last thing I'm gonna do is just this tab here that comes out of the side of this put some glue on the end and that's just gonna go into the carriage little hole there which is going to catch all the cartridges as they fall out there and that is that complete I'm going to let that dry but that's all there is to do in that stage that's all there is to do in that pack wow loads to do I absolutely love that pack one if you really like what you're seeing here, I reply you, this is going to be a great build. Get this for yourself. Once again, I have put a link in the video description. And there's also a QR code on the screen, but I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm covered in glue, but uh, uh, I think doing this a uh, Bismarck first put me in good stead for doing this one. I took my time, made sure there wasn't glue everywhere, but uh, get yourself some duck build pliers as well for bending some of those photo etch. Anyway, I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, Take care.